Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to jump back with uh, mat matplotlib. So, all right, last time we left off and we learned how to um, change our uh, markers. So, all right, now knowing how to read, see a line, we can we can look at that. But now, when we have markers, it can be a little challenging so let's just get going on this and I will show you a very awesome tool and it's uh, the grid setting so all right uh, I'm not gonna bore you guys with this I will just copy paste and then we have all this and let's put this here so, all right, let's get the, you should be able to see that. Let's come down just a little bit out. All right, so if you're new here, thanks for joining us. And important note, everything here we've already done. So that's why we're not talking about it. We're just going to look at the grid method uh, inside uh, PyPlot. So, all right, we run this, we bring this up, and we get our nice little, our nice little graph. Let me make sure you guys can see this nice and neat. Okay, cool. So, all right, we're sitting here. Let's say you, you don't know this information. You're like, all right, is this, okay, so it's four. Is this, is this seven? Is that seven? And that's 11, maybe. So, all right, there is an awesome tool that the creators of matplotlib did. So, all right. Let's run dir on plt, and boom, there it is, grid. So help dot grid, close this out. So all right, we have all this awesome awesomeness. So all right, let's dig into this. So b is a boolean, whether to show the grid, now, this is where it gets interesting. There's two ways to do this. You can either just have it, and then the axis is both X or Y. So, all right, let's do this. So, all right, plt.grid, then we turn, so the first one, we know how to do this. We just make it true. So we get our grid to come up. Now check this out. So all right, the other way, literally just by calling it, brings it up too. So all right, it's not that it sticks in there. Boom. Let's close this out. Bring this again. Goes away. Yeah, you can see that. So all right, just by calling it without the boolean in there all right so now so we have true now check this out and okay so now this is only going to show the x This is going to show the Y, so you can see that. And of course, super complicated, both shows both. Or get rid of it, shows both. Or yet another way, just by having the method up, shows both. So, all right super handy tool super short video just um wanted to tack that on to our markers because when you're having the little markers out there it can it can get a little messy but uh sometimes you don't want to have a line chart sometimes maybe it's a bunch of markers maybe like a scatter scatter plot maybe we'll do that next time so all right as always thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And if this is the type of video you like, why don't you give it a thumbs up for me? 
And please, please don't hesitate to leave any comments, questions, or my absolute favorite, any video requests below, and I'll get right to them. So thanks, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.